YouTube, this your boy down low back with another industry talk. First, let's talk about 50 Cent, man. 50 Cent came out and announced a whole bunch of different bundles that he got for the Animal Ambition album, man. That starts from $40 up to $5,000 in which... All of the $5,000 bundles have already sold out. In which what he's including in these bundles is the deluxe version of this album, man. He's included some SMS headphones, some signed posters, some t-shirts, and pretty much everything else that he's been having and shit, man. Which I would say is fucking genius. I mean, you got all of this merchandise and all of this shit that you created that you've been had. Why not throw it all together and make these prices of this album jump up even more? I mean, it just goes to show you how much Nipsey Hussle has changed the game, man. That every artist from Eminem to 50 Cent and everybody, man, that's somewhat trying to do independent thing to the mainstream, man, or writing what he did. Now, me personally... I don't like the album enough to even buy anything like this. But I know he got the fan base to pull it the fuck off. And he's going to make a grip off of this album. And he doesn't even have to sell that much. Next, Wiz Khalifa got arrested in Texas, man. Over having .5 grams of weed on him, man. And you know, Texas is one of those states, man. That actually, they came out and told Wiz Khalifa one of those times that he was there filming day to day. And doing shows and shit. They said that they would come and arrest him. If they later seen he was smoking weed on the day to day when he was doing a show in damn Texas. One of those asshole states that are just pro-locking everyone the fuck up. And this is the thing that kills me about America. So you can tell me that I can smoke weed in Denver, but I can't smoke weed in Texas. Or I can gamble in Las Vegas, but I can't gamble in North Carolina. Like... Is this not one fucking country? There has to come a point where you're in the United States of America, not the individual states of hypocrisy. Next, as reported by TMZ, in which you know they always report ignorance and such, man, but they basically reported and had a video showing T.I. arguing with Floyd Mayweather, in which T.I. allegedly swings out on Floyd, in which I seen the video. That shit was blurry and it was rather whack of a fucking video. But you know, if this actually happened, T.I. need to calm his ass down. Because first of all, he's not allowed to carry any kind of weapons. While Floyd Mayweather, he's licensed his hands to be fucking weapons. And this is one thing that young people need to understand at all times. There's a difference between having heart and being fucking foolish. And lastly, a cop that was first on the scene when Tupac died. Pretty much came out and said Tupac's last word. He broke down the whole situation. Said that he got there. It was like, Tupac, what happened? Who shot you? And Tupac ignored the shit out of him. He was more yelling at Suge Knight. But yet he kept out. It was like, Tupac, come on, man. Tell us what happened. Then Tupac started to realize that he wasn't going to make it. He got really calm and at peace. And then he turned to the cop and said... Fuck you. And you know, that shit was motherfucking gangster. Even though Tupac wasn't a real gangster in his motherfucking life, that's how a real gangster goes out. But anyway, this was another industry talk. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com. That's down there to read today's article.